Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. So guys, we are back with another video. In this video, we are going to talk about recession. What is the cause for the recession? And what are the steps that you can take if you have been impacted through recession, right? So we had a healthy discussion with STE2 and X Mintra employee, right? So I hope this video is going to be really helpful for you. Make sure to watch the video till the end. So let's get started. So Vedant here, I'll go with my first question for you uh, that we can have a conversation on. So right now you can see uh, this term is the recession. So there can be a possibility that many of the freshers or the students who are currently, you know, in their college. So they don't have the proper idea regarding this. So what is recession? First of all, you know, if you can, you know, in a layman's term so that everyone can understand, you know, if you can give a quick idea on that. Yeah. So, like, as per my knowledge, a recession uh, is a scenario uh, where, like, the purchasing power of the common people of a nation is drastically reduced and they are not able to buy goods. So, by matter of fact, the companies often sell products to people, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it's a subscription base, whether it's offering goods or like, like Amazon, or any XYZ company. So if the customer is not even buy, so the company van eventually comes into the loss. And when it comes into the loss, what they try to do is they try to uh, like do a cost cutting in their expenditure, whether it's in uh, marketing or sales. And as a matter of fact that uh, the company is paying salary to uh, the folks, right? Mm -hmm. So that is also expenditure to company. So they often cut the uh, salary part down by often uh, laying laying off employees. So this whole chain of events that I had talked about is what we can call a recession here. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. So like as we have seen that during 2021, there was so much like lots of lots of hiring going on, right? And many people were, I believe, having lots of offers at that time when they were, you know, doing a switch and all. But suddenly all this happened, right? So what could be the possible reason, uh, according to you, as per your knowledge, what could be the possible reason for the recession? Uh, so what are the possible reasons I personally feel is the global market being uh, collapsing so we often see that uh, there is a great impact of the uh, global market on indian economy and as well as most of the companies are often tied up to the foreign market in some way or the other so if the global market is coming down then probably it's not like the uh, our nation is going to be completely immune to that there are going to be side effects mm -hmm. but surprisingly this time the uh, the indian market reached a all time high and still we are predicting recession so it can it's very you know things are very uh, polar in nature at one end you can see that the indian markets are touching the all time high and as you can see on the other hand the us markets are not doing so well and in between that uh, there is you know kind of uh, confusion uh, uh, in the um, you know employees of the india that whether they should stay uh, attached to the companies that are 100% uh, indian or whether they should be attached to companies that are uh, you know a uh, foreign so foreign influence often uh, like you can see that the amazon is uh, uh, doing a layoffs you can see google is doing layoffs meta is doing layoffs so these are all foreign companies doing and in, in lieu, if some companies indirectly or directly attached to foreign culture or environment, they are eventually going to suffer losses and they will uh, do layoffs as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, why? And coming back to your question, like, why was there a surplus amount of jobs at one year and why of, all of a sudden we see that there is no demand in the market? So, uh, what I can see that during uh, 2021, like the COVID was just uh, getting over or even in the 2020, we often see a lot of the remote jobs. Mm -hmm. So in 2020, when people discovered that you can even work remotely without having the physical infrastructure, without having offices. So that was also a major cut down for companies yeah. and they directly, uh, you know, invested that 
uh, money in hiring more employees but this comes with a, uh, a disadvantage or we can say this backfires also somewhere so coinbase was hiring aggressively like everyone was like oh they are providing so much money it was the packages were super crazy 80 lpa 1 crore 1.25 crores and whatnot but again when it was too late for them to realize that they have hired uh, many people there it was a over, over hiring kind of scenario there mm -hmm. so that if, when they realized they cut down their expenditure and they laid off so many employees so at one time hiring a surplus demand in the market is also not good but mm -hmm. companies do realize that since they can uh, work remotely so they can hire more people with almost zero uh, you know investment on them no uh, water supply no electricity no food it's just uh, give them the uh, it equipments and have them working yeah. so that was the one reason i see there was a surplus amounts of uh, jobs and but after this uh, global recession uh, like there was a cut down in the jobs so yeah now this one question i believe it will be helpful for many especially for those who have been impacted from the layoffs right so as you can see currently there have been uh, lots of laid off right and multiple employees has been impacted by this right because i believe somewhere we were not ready for it we were not aware what could be the next thing right you know we have seen covid and now all this so we have seen lots of things i i believe yeah so like the next question would be right so those who have been impacted from this uh, laid off that has been, uh, you know, recently from multiple companies. So, um, you know, what would be your advice for them? Like, what are the things that they can do? You know, is something related to their career? You know? Yeah, I think this is a very crucial question. And I really think that, like, if the lay layoffs are gonna happen in a company, then it's likely uh, very rare that there is something in your hand that you can do to skip it. Although you have few things uh, that you can take care of while you are having the job, but you are having a sensation or a feeling that layoffs are going to happen. So one thing first that if you have the, you know, the power to switch teams internally in your company. So think of the teams that are less likely to be uh, laid off for example there are certain teams in the companies without which the uh, product cannot function uh, for example um, i i don't know like a payments team probably the, because payment is the backbone of any uh, product mm -hmm. that the companies launch so uh, so try if you have a feeling that okay Leia, something is going to happen and try to switch to a team in which there is very uh, the you know the possibility is the least for the layoffs mm -hmm. but again uh, that is very rare because i don't think that many of the companies allows internal switch uh, that in uh, also in that frequency right mm -hmm. so if you have the opportunity then go for it but if you feel that uh, there is nothing you can do then probably just uh, you all you can do is wish for the best like it's one thing i've noticed that often people relate uh, layoff being to be uh, you know, related to not performing well. So being laid off and performing or not performing are two separate entities. Mm -hmm. So even if you are, uh, you know, with a company for five years and you are doing excellent job, there are still high chances that you can be laid off if the company finds that, uh, you know, they want to uh, do a cost cutting in, into the uh, organization, right? Mm -hmm. So whether you work hard or you don't work hard, so the likely possibility of getting laid off is not going to change because company doesn't seize your performance by laying off. They see the company's profit. So if a certain product is a loss making for a company, then during a recession, the uh, the for uh, the utmost priority for a company is to shut down that product and just get rid of the folks working on it. Like it's a brutal uh, way to say it, but again, that's the truth. Uh, in this uh, corporate culture. So uh, try to figure out your current scenario. Like sir, there are certain uh, pro aspects where you can see that whether you are in a loss making a uh, team or whether you are in a profit making team or how crucial is your team important for the sur survival of the company. Mm -hmm. So based on these scenarios, you can often predict, okay, there are chances, 
high or low chances and based on that you can like proceed and in this recession time we have also seen that there are uh, hiding freezes as well so yeah. the demand in the market is very uh, less currently so mm -hmm. even if you have the right skill right now will not guarantee you a job because the demands in the market are less right now so it's not like when someone gets a job it's not just because of their skills it is also because there was a availability for that job agar mm -hmm. availability is not present then no matter how skilled you are you won't get job unless there is a requirement yeah so since that crucial thing in the market is down right now there is uh, hardly any requirement companies are posting i often see my linkedin uh, link list job section having 15 20 posts in a day and there was a time i was seeing 150 200 plus uh, job posting in a day so things are noticeable like people are no noticing things right now so that's one thing like if you are laid off then probably getting another job is really a tricky really hard again a very hard uh, you know hard thing to say i don't wish anyone suffers from it but again since the demand is very less we can't do anything on it so what what i would suggest is that instead of focusing on just one you know on one direction like just being a it employee try to figure out other ways of making income mm -hmm. just don't be dependent upon the it industry like it industry is very volatile mm -hmm. at the moment you see there are layoffs the next quarter you can see mass hiring happening right. like it's very unpredictable right now mm -hmm. so what you can do is you can think of scenarios or think of places where or things of professions which you can opt that are you know completely isolated from the it environment like whether it's uh, teaching whether it's you know if you like playing guitar then give some guitar lessons yeah. i don't know just random thoughts from my end so try to cut off uh, uh, try to have some skill that cuts you off from the it uh, domain and provides you a, at least these jobs will not be as you know matched make uh, with the salary what you are currently making with the it right but again there will be enough for you to having uh, the sustained life uh, going on yeah right right okay uh, so like vedant uh, you mentioned one point so on that i would like to specify something right as you mentioned see if a company you know going through this phase then definitely they will uh, lay off the employees for example we do have meta right so they i believe they laid off around 11000 employees right so people please don't think like that like okay they were not a skill or like that obviously they were a skill that's why uh, they were current they were in that specific company right so right now the scenario is like that the market is like that's why they they are going to this condition they are going to this situation and i believe anyone can so one thing just you know what i have seen and even you must have seen certain post on linkedin or probably on certain other platforms you know where we are you know targeting the specific companies and mentioning okay uh, you know what are going on and we are safe here and like that like that so on that was uh, on that on that part i would like to say like see this can happen with anyone so instead of you know having the company names and mentioning the specific count how many have been laid off and all those things what we can do is right now we can help each other regarding getting the right opportunity if we cannot do like that also because right now as you mentioned there is the hiring freeze and even i can see very less hiring is going on at least we can motivate the people we can have a second source of income that you mentioned so that is also one thing now people will think about it probably many of us were, were not thinking about it because we haven't thought like any kind of such kind of situation can happen because right now what we were seeing a huge amount of hiring but again this happened so at least we'll have a backup right for example covid happened then we have this thought of you know remote working first there was no such concept of remote working so if anything negative happen it comes with some you know uh, positive outcomes as well so obviously people will focus on some second source of income maybe it's about content creation or it's about something else whatever you know is there so probably you won't be getting that much which you are getting in your current job like the job that you were doing but at least you know when see when we are bachelors we are doing the things it's totally fine for us but when you have a family you have a responsibility you have a family to feed 
so at this time yeah these things will definitely be really helpful so i have a question relatable to that only although you have mentioned the point but again um you know if there's something specific that is left you can add on to this question so right now we have we are currently seeing this scenario so now we will be having this thought later on also in our minds you know you know so if things like that can happen you know in near future also right so how someone can make sure that they are ready for these kind of situation if any situation like that happen or recession happen you know so they are prepared for it what can be the things that they can follow for the same yeah yeah a very good question samya so like the first step i think would be having a sense of acceptance that nothing is permanent in it once you have that realization i guess the actions automatically come from you so you start you know it's not like you gave a pause to your learnings you always have to learn new things whether whether or you can say have have a, have a kind of a diary or a notes where you mention all the crucial points whenever you are preparing for interview so have them ready and once in a month or once uh, like twice in a month just go through it and okay think okay what are the scenarios what are the questions what are the topics you are still comfortable with and what are the things you have completely forgotten mm -hmm. just uh, take a quick uh, 30 minutes or 45 minutes out of your daily schedule and have a quick revision but again what i'm talking about is uh, like really uh, rare or unlikely to happen because most of the folks get comfortable in what they are doing yeah. and when the bomb is dropped on their head mm -hmm. right so then it's the moment of panic for someone okay now i have to revise everything the, because the company takes decision in a day the moment you log off the tomorrow you can see the mail right that okay this is happening this is the layer of happening and the next day it is gone but the preparation for you is going to take time right you have to realize that it's going to take not sure uh, probably it can take probably a month if you want to prepare uh, it very uh, generously or if you want to if you are very brilliant probably two weeks but it is a very huge amount of time even two weeks for someone who is being laid off so i i am not saying that you always be interview ready because that is practically not possible yeah. what you can do is at least do a part of it like if you have 50 questions in your sheets make sure that at least you are comfortable with 25 of them and when the time comes you can just uh, latch on to it and uh, revise it as quickly as possible that is one thing and another thing is uh, like having a strong network so one one thing i have realized up till my uh, professional journey is that if you have a strong network with folks around you so whenever there is a blockage or whenever there is a hard time there all there you'll find always someone in your network who is ready to help mm -hmm. and that help actually is a big uh, is a big leap of faith right because when someone extends a hard hand of support for you in that hard time then you uh, that it's like a golden thing for you right you should be thankful at having a, such a great network you know helping hand in front of you then you have to be grateful that you have such a great network right so having a great network be in touch with people be active on linkedin try to you know not not don't be acting on active on linkedin just for the sake of jobs mm -hmm. be active to create a network to get to know people what they are doing uh, get uh, a professional connect share your thoughts learn and explore more about things and when the time comes probably someone is gonna uh, like uh, help you there because people are what this is what the networking is for you help people out in, in in return you expect some help right so be active be your network and probably this is the one thing that you can do uh, like to be in the safe zone yeah definitely uh, definitely makes sense like you mentioned about linkedin yeah because see when you are making connections right now 
see sometimes that also one thing when i still remember when i you know i started using linkedin so even i used to think why we do make connections how they're going to help us you know but somehow later you know with time i figured out okay so that is the reason and uh, you know so it, it's not just about getting the jobs as you mentioned it's it's more than that right probably connect with the people who is having the same interest you know somewhere somewhat people in your field only because you, definitely daily you'll get to know something you get to know you know maybe something related to tech or what is going on all around you know uh, even for the students i would like to mention it's not just a recession is specific when you are into your college probably you, you are you know checking on the students around you okay what my friend is doing what my roommate is doing okay what's the topper of my class class and all those things is doing right but you know when you are start exploring the social media uh, probably linkedin then you get to know okay so this is student uh, you know maybe first year or second year he's creating such an amazing project or he's doing you know certain other open source things and all those stuff so somehow you get to know about the reality what is going on around so that's why it's important to be active there so that you can have the idea and there are certain program also that uh, does open for many of the students or many hiring opportunities also uh, which has not been covered you know in certain youtube channels um, somehow they are missed and but you will get to know if you are active on these social plat on uh, this um, sorry when you are active on linkedin right when you will make the connection probably that post will appear in your feed also so that's why it is important right and you know if you have some sort of conversation with any one of the people in your connection later on you need help you can reach out to them and one thing is there ask for help only then someone will be able to help you if you are just thinking you know uh, crying about what is happening obviously this is a disheartening thing right no one was expecting for that but again you have to ask for help you have to you know you have to somehow gather all your courage and definitely will go through all these things also you know and um, um even this kind of phase comes in the life but you know for sure with time uh, everything will be sorted out that's what i believe okay vedant so i believe uh, you know you covered most of the things and i believe this video is going to be really helpful uh, all i can say before wrapping up this video just guys um, you know stay strong in this phase i believe whatever you are going through is really a tough thing but with time everything will be okay you know stay motivated and things will be sorted soon that's what all i can say thank you so much vedant for accepting my invitation and sharing your thoughts here it was a great discussion it was a healthy discussion i believe for the audience so guys make sure to share with the people i believe this video will be helpful for them thank you so much for watching bye bye